Ada has fired co-trainer Mark Breland. Mark Breland is a guy, if you look him up, if you know who Mark Breland is, won multiple uh, Golden Glove championships, was fighter of the year, won a title at welterweight. Unbelievable accolades. When you look up Jay Diaz, who's his main trainer at the moment, it just says trained Deontay Wilder. Now, that's not a knock against Jay Diaz. you got to start somewhere. Just because you haven't got accolades doesn't mean you're good. Some people don't need to be in the limelight. They don't need a long Wikipedia page. You can still be good at what you do. Look at Muhammad Ali before he fought Sonny Liston. He was supposed to lose that fight. He was a huge underdog. Even though he had, you know, he done well in the amateurs. He won the Olympics. He still had a lot of stuff that he's done already. But no one expected Muhammad Ali to be who he was. So maybe Jay Diaz is just another version of that we don't expect jay diaz or jay diaz i don't know how to say his name to be who he is but maybe he blows up so that's not a big deal all right who cares what wikipedia says but at the end of the day what you see is worrying after the fight mark brilliant threw in the towel which i don't think anybody that's neutral and that cares about these guys and doesn't really want to see anyone seriously hurt in the sport was mad at he wasn't going to win he didn't have no legs if you ain't got legs under you you can't do shit. Doesn't matter if you've got Thor's hammer in your hand. If you ever got the legs under you, you're not knocking nobody out. So Mark Breland threw on the towel, like we all know. They had a little go at Mark Breland. Mark Breland was fired for a short period of time. Fans got upset. Mark Breland was back. Now he's fired again. They fired him twice. <laughs> they fired him twice. <laughs> but now Jay Diaz is his main trainer. And it seems like, I don't know, it weakens the team. I don't think Tyson Fury's hearing that Mark Breen has lost it, left the team and he's upset. I don't think he's like, oh my God, now he's really going to be good. That's a huge asset they just lost. And Mark Breland doesn't seem like a crazy type of trainer that's going to cause problems in the camp. He seems pretty laid back, like a proper professional guy. If anything, he's just a big notch on your belt and they've got rid of that. It's a worrying sign. It just seems like they're still trying to blame somebody. They're trying to put that blame on somebody else. And Mark Breland's the guy. Who knows? Maybe something's going on behind the scenes. Maybe they... He tainted his water. Maybe Mark Breland was dressed up as Tyson Fury and fought him in there. Or maybe <laughs> Mark Breland loaded his gloves in the corner. What? Who knows, right? Who knows? It's very unlikely. But who knows, right? Anything could be happening. Anything could happen happened behind the scenes. I give it the benefit of the doubt. So all you can do is speculate. And I'm definitely going to do that. I They're just trying to blame Mark Breland. That's the likelihood of it. That's how you can see it. That's the only way you can interpret what's happening. All right, Jay Diaz. Is it great to have Jay Diaz there? Are you going to be worried if you're Deontay Wilder's uh, opponent and he's just got Jay Diaz in, the, in his corner? I don't think so. I don't think so, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's bad, man. If you're a Wilder fan and you're seeing that, you are not happy that Mark Breeden has left the corner. You're not. You're not jumping for joy. Or maybe you are. Who knows? I'd love, love to know. But listen, that's it from me. Peace, love. And whatever I say after that, what do I say after that? I'm out. <laughs> Peace.